Kyle is with us in Great Bend, Kansas. Hey, Kyle, how are you? Hey, Dave, how you doing? Better than I deserve. What's up? Well, it's an honor to talk to you. You too. How can uh, I help? Well, my wife is doing this multi-level business thing, and man, I just keep dumping money into it and dumping it, and well, I don't think it's going anywhere, and I can't get her to quit dumping money into it. Okay, I don't understand. It's not making money? She's spending money? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, probably since she started it, easily over $1,000 in a couple of months. Mm-hmm. It's supposed to be building her stock. She says it's a makeup business. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I don't know where to go with how, it. How much has she if sold? I, <laughs> I think I've seen probably $20 come back out of it. Okay. So why is she not selling anything? I, I don't know. She says she's got to build up her stock more. No, she doesn't. They'll drop ship to her. They can have it to her in two days. Yep. Um, and besides that, her downline's probably, or her upline's probably got a garage full of it that they'd love to sell her. Right. Um, so, yep. yeah, you're you're heavily invested enough into this that, um, you know, aside from the fact that it's your wife, <laughs> which complicates things, all right? But yeah. from a business analysis, um, you know, if this was a salesperson working for me, I would say, no, we're not spending any more money on this campaign until you actually sell something. And you got to, you know, you're going to have to sell your way out of this hole. And uh, that's a reasonable response. And anybody that knows anything about multi-level knows that she needs to be out there selling and recruiting. That she needs to be doing both um, if she's going to make it. Um, most people don't make it. Most people don't make it in business, but most people don't make it in multi-level. Um, it is a high fallout ratio, a very high fallout ratio. And I don't want you to end up with a garage full of stuff when she does quit. So she needs to, uh, you know, she needs to not quit. She needs to get out there and make some sales. And that, that, you know, now how to convince her of that's another thing, but, um, I, I you know, I, where I'm having problems. I think, I think this is a discussion like, you know, let's say that you were, um, Spending all your spending all the household money on hunting gear, you know, and you're going, yeah, well, you know, I'm gonna we're gonna eat a lot of deer this winter, you know. Well, you know, well, you need to kill one, son, you know, because uh, you you don't you've already turned around, and spent a thousand bucks on a rifle here, so you need to, you know, it's the same kind of thing, is yeah. what it amounts to. You don't have a business that you only put money in. A business that you only put money in is not a business; it's a hobby. Yeah. What I said. Yeah. So I think the two of you have got to come to some conclusions. The problem is that you're facing is how long have you been married? Uh, three years. Okay. Uh, the problem that you're facing is, is that people's enthusiasm inside of a multi-level gets so high that sometimes they suspend good judgment. And, uh, and some of these things will actually try to drive a wedge between a lady and her husband. And go, well, your husband just doesn't understand, but we got your back. Oh. As if as if you're some kind of loser because you don't get their multi-level hype. You follow me? And you're not. So uh, you've actually got a good head on your shoulders, and you're accurately uh, saying this. I'm not saying the multi-level is completely invalid. I'm saying that she's being hyped, and it's blinding her, and she needs to go make some real sales to prove that this thing is real. And if she can't prove that it's real, she needs to get out of the business. If she can prove that it's real, and, you know, you, let's say she brings in five or $10,000, well, I think you'd be okay with investing some money in that business, wouldn't you? Yeah, definitely. I would, too. So if the dad blame thing's real, go prove it. But otherwise, it's a bunch of smoke and mirrors and yapping. And that's true yeah, of any yeah. business. That's true of any business, yeah. whether it's multi-level or not. I mean, let's say she just took a job with a, quote, regular company, and they just told her every day how much she was going to sell, and she never sold anything. You know, how long before she'd figure that out, right? Right. So it, it, she needs to make some sales, and she needs to recruit some people, and her stock is not her problem. Uh, that's not a, her problem at all. Uh, she hadn't made any sales, and she hadn't recruited anybody. And if she starts doing that, she can prove that this multi-level is real. But uh, I got to tell you, man, you're going to have to get in, but you're going to have to let her realize you are on her team and more than the multi-level upline is on her team. You love her more than they love her, 
And, you know, you got to get back in between them and you, not to drive them away, but to keep them from driving you away. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. You're running, into, you're running into a lot of emotion, aren't you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I thought oh, so. Yeah. I thought I could smell that. So that's what I'm saying. Now, again, I'm not saying the multi level's not good. I'm saying she hadn't sold anything. It may or may not be good. That's yet to be proven, this particular mm-hmm. one that she's in. But but she's not any good at it yet, and it is not lack of stock. That's just complete BS, and that's her upline trying to sell her some stuff. She's the only sale they're making. They need to go make some sales and uh, some real sales in a real-world business model. And if you do that, then you can prove the validity of your multi-level plan. But otherwise, it's just a bunch of crap. And it's a bunch of hype. And, you know, you got to decide which it is. And honestly, there's some of both going on here. Hey, guys, Rachel Cruz here. Hope you enjoyed that video from the Dave Ramsey Show. If you want to watch another great video, check out my video, Three Things You Should Consider Renting, right over here, or click the link in the description below.